This is the theme from Super Mario Brothers, played on the flute by me, Jane Kavanagh, and the composer is Kondo. This is the best piece for flute, and I will explain after I play it why it's so good on flute, and I'm also going to give you a teaching tip on how to learn this more easily, and have it sound better. repeated <laughs> whoops <laughs> for two things my brain fart in the middle where I went to repeat and it wasn't a repeat so sorry about that and the second one was in the fourth last bar my dodgy low C so I could normally play low C I don't know why it didn't come out then but oh well that's what happens it's a good reminder to not aim for perfect because there's always something that's not quite perfect with your playing. So I always advise my students to aim for 99%, which honestly is pretty down amazing and very high standards. But if you're aiming for perfect, you'll always find something that wasn't just wasn't quite right. So try not to be too much of a perfectionist when you're learning something, but at the same time have high standards. Okay, so my name is Jane Kavanagh, which I mentioned. I teach flute students, I'm a flute teacher, and I teach them how to get faster progress through proper technique. And proper technique is learning all aspects of the flute that are technical based. So that's everything from blowing the flute, embouchure, faster fingers, posture, hand position, the balance of the flute, the proper way to tongue, the proper way to play high notes. There's so much about flute technique. Sometimes people think that flute technique is finger speed and that is part of it, but it's not the only thing. That's what I teach and I teach people that in my flute academy. So if you're interested in learning more, go check it out. Super Mario Brothers, I've got a tip for you. When you learn this, learn it in four in a bar. Now you might be looking this at this going, oh, there already is four in a bar. There's actually two beats in a bar. So there's two minimum beats per bar or two half note beats per bar. And that's because the time signature is a little C and it's got a line through it. The line means that the time signature is 2-2. Two, two. The 2-2 two, two is very similar to 4-4 four, four, except that it's faster. So instead of, instead of counting or tapping four beats in a bar like this, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You change it into two in a bar like this. One, two, one, two. So da 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 dum dum. I think I sang the wrong notes, but there you go. I'm not a singer. So my tip for you is to slow the piece down and learn it in four in a bar to get the rhythm right. The rhythm is, I was going to say tricky. It's not that it's tricky. It's very syncopated and it's much easier to learn. If, if you're unfamiliar with these sorts of rhythms, it's much easier to learn if you learn it slower and counting in four, then speed it up and do it in two. Two makes it flow better. So counting two in a bar is great. It's a great time signature for this piece. Okay, the, the reason um, this piece is so good on flute is because Super Mario Brothers, I mean, I think I'm a child of the 80s. I grew up in the 80s, but I don't think I ever played this. I think Super Mario himself, I think they're Italian, like the characters. 
Now, the composer, Koji Kondo, looking at his name, I think he's Japanese. I suspect that the company is American, but regardless of all of those countries, the style of this piece is Latin. So it's Latin music. We all know that the flute belongs in Latin music so beautifully. If you have listened to Brazilian music, Shora music, the flute is in so, many, so much Latin music and that's why it suits this piece so perfectly. It also suits this piece because it's a computer game, a computer theme, if you, I don't know if you've heard this piece already. It suits a solo instrument. It's not like there's a massive orchestra that's missing when you play this piece by itself. So there you go. I just overloaded you with all these reasons and tips to help you play your Super Mario Brothers theme better and more easily. So there you go. Come and check out my Flute Academy if you really want to learn good technique on the flute that helps you improve a lot faster. So I call it faster progress through proper technique. Come and have a look at www.flute.school/academy and I'll show you more there. See you later.